Okay, so this is gonna be a, re a review and unboxing video of the Z213 speaker by Logitech. I previously cut the box and took it out of the packaging just so it didn't make as much noise. All right, so on the front here, we have a basic image of what comes in the box. Uh, on the back, I'll show you in a second, it says enjoy rich full bass, uh, saying that it has a down firing subwoofer, which basically just comes out of the bottom. Uh, take control, which is a separate, um, jack for you to use your headphones if you like and control the bass and high quality acoustics so I mean it's an entry level speaker so I'll leave that up to you here's a shot of the back All right. so now we're gonna get into opening it there's a little tab on the back here fire that open okay and on the top here there's basic wiring instructions to show you how to put this together it's fairly simple uh, compared to my other one, although I have not opened these yet. So, okay. So here's the connected already for you. The first set of speakers. We'll get into that in a second. Um, instructions. Okay, and your subwoofer with power supply. And I believe it's a five foot power supply. This way. Box over there for a second. And there's your first look at the subwoofer. Alright, so assembly for these is really easy compared to a lot of setups. Okay, so you're going to spin it around the back here. Uh, right here, you have your base control. Uh, this speaker or this wire is going to your power supply and this is going to your external jack which I'll go over in a second. Um, all you do is take the wire, the one wire going from both speakers, plug it right into the back here and you're good to go. Okay so here's the separate control unit that you'll use to control the volume just by sliding this up and down. It's got a headphone jack on the bottom and also the on and off switch for the complete unit itself. All right, so I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a bass test or sound test. Uh, it's just going to be about a 15 second, 20 second clip of a song that I chose that's copyright free. Um, everything is set to half. The bass is set to half on the sub. The volume is set to half on the, on the output on the speakers. And my microphone gain on my Blue Yeti is set to half. So we'll see how it fares. Alright, so in conclusion, the Z213 speakers are a great entry level model if you're in the budget of $30 to $40, depending if you're in America or Canada. Um, I, if you have a little bit of extra budget, a couple of 20 bucks more, I would recommend looking at a couple of the higher, a couple of the higher models. Uh, I also bought the Z523, I believe it is. It's about $20, $30 more, and it's got a lot more bass. Um, these would be more designed for students uh, not too interested in music, more gaming, or not needing the most high quality sounds. So you have the external out or external jack, I guess, whatever you'd like to call it. So you don't have to be looking for cables every two minutes or you want to adjust the bass. It's fairly easy to grab on the back. Uh, three by five inch speakers, five by seven inch sub. Doesn't take too much room up on a desk. Um, Overall opinion, if you're in the budget, you can't afford more than 40, 50 bucks on speakers, I would say buy if you have a little bit extra budget, maybe look a couple higher models up.